Good morning, friends. I'm having a little trouble with Facebook and I can't go live this morning. So I'm recording my thoughts. I sent out a video or a quick picture the other day asking you what does working my body have to do with, with tending to my soul? How can I forgive my friends better when I stretch and move my body? Well, let's talk about that this morning. First of all, we need a body to be in this world. We can't exist here without substance, without matter. And incarnation is a synthesis of matter and spirit. In science class years ago, I learned that matter and energy is a quantity that is always the same. You can convert matter to energy and energy into matter, but overall that amount stays the same. I don't know what that has to do with incarnation, but I think there might be some relationship in there. But nonetheless, if we want to be present in this world, we have to have a body. And in the assembly line of getting our bodies put together, there was a helping of the holy placed within us as well. We are spiritual beings as much as we are physical beings. We spend a lot of time and resources tending to our physical bodies. And it's so important to keep that physical body healthy. It's also as important to keep our spiritual body healthy and well. How is God present in the world? God is present in the world within each of us. All of the creation, all that is created in this world is infused with that holiness. The Spirit of God is everywhere in everything that was created. You know, if you take a walk and you let your spirit, you let your soul run wild and run through creation, you will notice a connection that you have with all of the things that are living. Our spirits recognize the spirits within others. Now, I know some of you are saying, okay, now you're getting a little wackadoo. Maybe so, but I've had this experience. When I am out in nature and I come upon flowers and trees, there's just something there to breathe in that is holy and more than just what I see with my eyes. Even in the weeds, the weeds aren't always pretty to look at, but you know what I love about weeds? Their persistence. They remind me of resurrection. They remind me that the persistence of life. You can try all you want to get rid of that weed. It's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. It's gonna keep growing. It's gonna keep getting stronger. What a metaphor for life. God's spirit is incarnate in all of this created world and especially in our bodies. And this notion that God is out there somewhere, this um, dualism that God is out there and the physical things are here. And it comes from the teachings of the ancient Greeks and Plato, the Platonic teachings are still alive and well within us, even if you've never heard of Plato, even if you've never read the story about coming out of the cave and seeing light, that is still very much a part of our thinking. This dualism of things that exist here in the spiritual nature in some far off heaven. Christianity is a movement of incarnation. Our faith is a movement of embodied spirit. God is within us. And our view of God as separate and distant has harmed our relationship to all things created in this world. It has harmed our relationship to, to food, possessions, money, animals, natures, even and especially our own bodies. The whole movement of Christianity is found in incarnation. 
Jesus was not satisfied to remain word. He became flesh. God with us. God within us. Now, we have to tend to our soul, which is a part of our bodies. It's infused in every cell, in every pore, in every single part of our bodies. Our soul is present and alive and vibrant. And I want to ask you a question. Do you have a plan that you pay monthly to take care of your bodies? I'm guessing you do. Or if not, you wish you did. What is your plan to take care of your spirit and your soul? Are you setting aside time and resources to care for your soul and your spirit, which is part of your body? It's just as important. Now, when you experience things like anxiety or restlessness or anger or joy or resentment, all of those things are manifestations of spiritual issues or of spiritual health, however you like to think about that. And they are embodied within us. If you get anxious, do your shoulders come up? Does your neck tense? Or is it in your lower back? Does your lower back get stiff and sore when you're anxious? What about when you're angry? Does your stomach feel it? Do you get a feeling in the pit of your stomach that just, just ruins your day or disrupts your digestion? All of these things that we feel, they are feelings because we feel them. We feel with our bodies. All of these things, all of those things that are spirit manifestations of our spiritual health are present in our body. So how do we loosen those things up and move them along? I know I carry stress in my shoulders and in my lower back. And at the end of the day, when I stretch out my shoulders and when I stretch out my lower back, not only does my body feel better, but my soul is better. Whenever I meditate or pray, I spend time stretching out my body because it loosens up and releases those things that my soul has produced that are stuck in my body. And let me ask you, if you have a resentment or a grudge that you've been carrying for a long time, how does your stomach feel? How are you able to, how do you sleep at night? Do you have disrupted sleep? Do you have digestive issues? Do you have headaches or discomfort? All of these things, all of these spiritual manifestations that we carry are present in our bodies. Physical health and spiritual health are part of the whole. They need both, you need to dress both to be healthy. So friends, I invite you to start thinking about your spiritual health alongside your physical health. I'm gonna be talking about this more in the days to come, but I want us to do a challenge of some sort or set out on a 30 day adventure or challenge, however you like to think of it, of paying attention to our physical health in relationship to our spiritual health. So I'll be saying a little more about that soon. Uh, what, join the group Wholeness for all the days on Facebook if you want more information there. But you will be getting an invitation to be a part of that if you would like to. Send me a message and drop me your email address if you want to be in the loop on that one. But let's take 30 days and be our best selves. I think we'll start this on July 1st. July 4th, we celebrate the freedom that we fought for, for our country. Let's fight for that freedom of health and wellness in our bodies, minds, and spirits as well. So let's do that. July 1st, we're going to kick off this event of physical and spiritual health altogether. And I want you to be a part of it. So drop me a line, send me your name, give me your email, whatever you want to do 
to be in the loop on this and let's take 30 days and see what a difference it can make for us, body, mind, and spirit. So that's my message for you today, friends. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor at the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I am the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries, reaching out to you wherever you are to help you become as strong as you can in your spirit. That's all for today. Be well.